Now that you've built your bumper car, let's learn how to program it. Under when program starts, I've set my movement motors to ENF and I've set my movement speed to 100% so that my bumper car will do the maximum amount of damage when it runs into other cars. I have set up a when left button is pressed event to start the program and then everything else I need, I've pulled out for you to see. Under movement, you can see I have one, start moving forward, two, stop movings, one, move backwards that I've set for one rotation, and one, move right that I've set to 100 and again for one rotation. For controls, I have one, wait that I've set for five seconds, and two, repeat untils. In the sensors, I have one, when touch sensor is pressed, and then a blue timer pill and a reset timer command. And then finally, out of operators, I've got a greater than equation that I've set to 60. In the greater than equation, you are going to place the timer pill and make sure that the alligator is eating the timer and not the number 60. This sets a timer for 60 seconds. Now, under the when left button is pressed, I'm gonna start by placing the wait five seconds. This wait gives you time between when you press the button and when the robot launches so that you have five seconds to place the cover on your robot before the destruction begins. After this, I'm going to reset my timer. Anytime you start a program, the timer starts counting. So if there is 30 seconds between when you hit start program and when you press the left button, if you don't reset the timer, the robot will only run for 30 seconds because it's already been going for 30 seconds. So the timer reset is very important. My first repeat until will go right underneath the timer. And in there, I am going to place my 60 second timer. And so this is the duration that the program will run for 60 seconds. And then at the bottom of this repeat until, I am going to place my first stop moving. And that will end the program. The second repeat until will get my when touch sensor is pressed block. And so now this is going to be where the robot is allowed to run around and slam into things. Inside the repeat until, I'm going to put a start moving. And so this means that the robot will run in a straight direction and it will do so until the touch sensor is pressed when it runs into something. Once it runs into something, I'm going to have it stop moving. Then I'm going to have it back up for one rotation. Then I'm going to have it turn. Now, right now I have them set for one and one, but after you've played with your robot, you can adjust those numbers to your liking. Now, in order to get the robot to then run and repeat this action, all I need to do is take this stack here and place it inside this repeat until block. And now the robot will run, bump into something, back up, turn, and then take off again and just keep on repeating that action for 60 seconds. And at the end of that time, it will stop moving. So this is how you program the bumper car. Go and have some fun.